Okay guys, so in this video, we are going to do a cash budget as a whole. So we are going to start everything from the scratch so that you will see how to calculate a receipt, how to calculate a payment, how to calculate a balance at the end. So please make sure that you stay tuned, watch until the end so that when you go and write your test, you will be very, very, very ready to write a cash budget. Okay, let's look at the question paper that we have. Required number one. Complete the data collection schedule, 14 marks. We are starting everything from scratch. Number two, complete a cash budget on June 2021. Okay, so information number one, we are given the expected collection from data. However, you know that when we prepare collection from data, we must first calculate our credit sales. Okay, let's go to information number B first. Information number B. They say that um, summer of transition, total sales from April until July, it is given on the table. Okay. Then credit purchase, not for now. Then uh, they say 75% of total sales are on credit. 75% of total sales are on credit, which means that the rest are on cash. Okay. Which means that we have to convert all those amount to 75%. Because we are looking for credit sales. Okay, we're going to say 90,000 multiplied by 75%. And for May, 82,000 multiplied by 75%. June, 100,000 multiplied by 75%. July, 110. Very simple, guys. Multiplied by 75%. We're using 75% because it's for credit sales. Okay, let's get the answers. Here is going to be 75,000. And the, the other one is going to be 82,500. And this one is going to be 61,500. And the other one will be 67,500. Very simple and straightforward so this was four marks for free okay now let's proceed to the next part the next part they said expected for a uh, collection from debtors 40 percent of data settled their account during the transaction month of sales in order to qualify for four percent we want collection now for june and july okay Let's use this collection uh, percentage. They say 40%. We are going to collect it in the same month. Same month simply means that if we are in June, it's going to match June. If we are July, it's going to match July. Same month is the January and January. Following month is like if we are in January, following month, which means that it's February, which is going to be 30% in this, in, in this case. Because they say 30% settle their account in the following months months following this one okay and 23 percent is after the following months if we were in april we skip may we go to june okay and the seven percent they said is bedded we don't calculate bedded here okay and under, under only projected income statement we can include bedded not on cash budget okay now let's start with the same month which is very simple june and june let's check where june and june meet they meet here which means that we are going to say uh, 75 percent of credit sales 75 thousand by 40 percent because there's a four percent discount which means that you're gonna say 100 minus four and you get multiply by 96 percent which is going to give you amount here now before we go we calculate amount here Let's do for July and July, where they meet here. It's going to be 82,500, multiplied by 40%, multiplied by 96%. Okay, now let's calculate. For June, and June, they're going to give us 28,800. And for July and July, they're going to give us 3168. Just like that. Now let's go to the following month. 
for April, the following month is May, which we don't have here. Let's keep it for now. May, which month follow May? It's June, and they meet here. And the following percent here is 30%, which means that we're going to say 61,500 multiplied by 30%. There is no discount here. And the other one, June and July, the month follow June is July, which means that they meet here. We're going to say 75,000 multiplied by 30 percent, and it's going to give us an answer. Okay, uh, let's write these answers first. Here is 22,500, and here uh, is going to be 18,000. 450 just like that okay now we are going to the month following the month of sales if we are in april we must first skip the following month and we we'll go to the one that we are looking for if you are in april we we'll skip may and we we'll go to june and they said it's how many percent 23 percent 67 500 multiplied by 23 percent it's going to give us answer may we we'll skip june and we go to July. It's meet here. It's gonna be sixty-one thousand five hundred multiplied by twenty-three percent, and it's gonna give us uh, fourteen thousand one forty-five, fifteen thousand five twenty-five. Okay. And totals uh, for June is gonna give us total. You just add these answers. And you're gonna get 62,775. Here is gonna be 68,325. Just like that. That's how we prepare the task collection schedule. Very simple. I have done a lot of videos like this one. So make sure that after this one, if you don't understand this or you want more practice, go and check on the playlist and watch more of them. Okay. Now, uh, let's proceed. Remember these two we are going to put them under cash budget from collection from data we're just gonna copy it because we already work those answers so give two seven seven five and 60 68 all right before i forgot guys we are on a one million views celebration so in order for us to celebrate this guys i know that i have been assisting you a very long time and you have learned a lot on this channel so please just appreciate us by sending a video a short video of 10 seconds you can take it at school at home with your friend or alone any way that you want it just send a short video which is below 10 seconds or 5 seconds and just say congratulations accounting solution sa for reaching 1 million views and send it on my whatsapp on the number that is appearing there so please make sure that you send it before 15 august so if you send a video before 15 of august 2024 uh, i'm going to put it on our next video that i'm going to upload so please make sure that you do that so that we can celebrate this uh, together a 1 million view is a lot of guys it simply means that this channel is assisting a lot of people out there to learn the basic of accounting okay now let's proceed to the next one now the next one we are preparing a cash budget a cash budget uh, some of the figures they were given like this and this one but i'm gonna explain to you uh, so that in case if they are not given this is need this is what you need to do number one we have cash sales Remember they said 75% of total sales is on what? Is on credit, which means that the rest, which is 25%, is cash. In order for you to get this uh, two amount, you just take the amount of June, which is which was 100,000, you say my plan by 25%, it's going to give you this 25,000. You do the same in July, 110, my plan by 25% of cash sales, you're going to get this one just like that so that's why there was no any mark allocation here it was there on the answer book next one uh, let's go to number c number c they said creditors are paid in the months following the month of purchase 
if we purchase now in june we're gonna pay them in july the following month okay which means that the one that we are going to pay in june we took them previous month which is me let's take me a credit purchase of me it was eighty thousand. Here it is. It was given eighty thousand. Okay. Now let's do for July, which means that for July is the one that we took on June. Let's take a credit purchase of June. It is there on the table. In this case, it was already calculated sixty-five thousand. Okay. Now let's go to cash purchase because it is not given at all. Cash purchase. We have to convert credit purchase into cash. They said a credit purchase are forty percent of total purchase. If credit purchase are forty percent, cash are sixty percent. Okay. Now let's calculate the one for June. Let me show calculation here for June. For June, we take a June amount. Okay, a June amount it was sixty five thousand, which we multiply by what we want on top we want cash purchase which is 60 percent and what we have is not 100 percent we have a credit purchase which is 40 percent we divide by 40 percent okay which is going to give us amount of 97 500 now let's do for july july is also very simple we are just going to say 110 multiplied by 60 over 40 okay and it's gonna give us amount of 127 500 we use the same procedure the difference is only amount we just change here and put 110 okay it's not 110 guys it's a uh, 85,000 okay let me write it here uh, 85,000 multiplied by 60 over 40 we take a credit purchase, not total sales, because we are dealing with purchases here. Okay, moving to the next one. Number D. The rental, uh, um, the rental agreement makes provision for annual increase of 12% commencing on 1 July 2021. Okay, the rental is going to increase by 12%. Rent. It was 17000 now for july is going to increase we say 112 over 100 because it's going to increase by 12 percent okay and it's gonna give us 19,000 and 40 rand okay because it has increased from 17 now it's going to 19. okay the next one uh, the following withdrawal are made monthly by the owner cash to pay for his garden service at home 7500 and trading stock is 2800 which one do we take we only take cash a trading stock is not cash we are dealing with cash only because it's cash budget we're gonna include a drawings of 7500 just like that okay and the following one the following one uh, okay a used vehicle was sold in june of by amount of 132,900 to the owner's best friend and the loss on sales is 3000 eft will only be made in july it's gonna be received in july we sold what vehicle asset sold we receive because when we sell we receive cash we receive amount of how much 132 900 the loss is not recorded guys loss is not recorded the reason is because a loss is just different between what this amount that we sold and current value we didn't receive or pay any uh, amount it's like a depreciation we don't pay any cash okay the next one a loan of 11.5 percent per annum interest will be taken out on 1 july july interest okay and they said the loan will be repaid in 36 equal monthly installment commencing 30 july installment it was already calculated 5600 okay and the loan 
The interest uh, is also payable at the end of each month, commencing 30 June 2021. The interest is not capitalized, show the calculation in a bracket. We need to calculate the interest. Okay, the loan it was given here is 201,600. Multiply by the interest of 11,5%. Remember, we are doing monthly. We must say 1 over 12. Okay, which is going to give us how much? 1932 okay let's proceed to the next one the next one they say advertising is calculated at one percent of the previous month's total sales so when we calculate advertising we use the previous month to calculate for this month for june we use the one for may in May, it was 82,000. We take 1% of 82,000. Okay, we're going to say 82,000 multiplied by 1%, which is going to give us 820. And for July, we use for June 100,000 multiplied by 1%, which is going to give us 1,000. Just like that. Very simple. Number I. All employees will receive a salary increase of 4% at the end of July. Okay. Now let's uh, deal with this uh, increment of a salary. Salary, it was 75,000. 75,000 multiplied by 1 of 4 because increase is 4%. Then it will be... 78,000 okay and the other one uh, the bank showed the favorable balance of 140,000 on 31 May 2021 the bank show favorable balance favorable balance is positive unfavorable is negative this one is positive opening balance it will be 140 1,508. Okay, now we are done with everything. Let's calculate the total. The total for receipts for June, it was 104,775. For July, it was 449,365. Okay, then for total payment, uh, when we add everything, it's 260,820. And this side is 286.532. Okay. Now we want to calculate a shortfall or cash surplus. Shortfall is a negative. Surplus is positive. 104. Remember payment are negative. Are outflow. 104 minus 260. They are going to give us... Uh, amount of negative 156 and 45 okay because negative is higher here which means that if you take this one plus this one it is going to give us a negative 15,515 or you can start with positive one minus negative one it's gonna give you negative amount this one so opening balance closing balance of this month is opening for next month this one this one is gonna be opening on the following month it's gonna be 15 515 okay now let's calculate surplus this side of deficit 449 minus 256 is gonna give us positive uh, 162 eight three three okay then after that take this one minus this one uh, let me calculate 162 833 minus 15 515 it's gonna give you 
one eight that's how you do it guys please don't forget to subscribe to this channel guys so that more video can appear so that you can watch more videos like this one and also those who want to join extra class please make sure that you do so as early as possible so that we can assist you don't come in last minutes guys because in last minutes whatsapp is so busy you will find that we are not able to respond you at the mo at the time so please make sure that you come in time so that we can assist you and also guys if you want a question paper like this one uh, it's from our study guide please make sure that you purchase one it's a soft copy uh, which is costing only a hundred rand soft copy simply means that it's a pdf we don't have a hard copy for now because it's very expensive to print more than 200 pages and to deliver to you is gonna cost more than 400 so a soft copy is only 100 rand uh, make sure that you do that so that you can get a good marks main object is to get a distinction so i hope you enjoy and i'm gonna see you on the next video